Hello again there, friends and guests, Wolfman here. Yes, we're um, going to be experiencing another horror game. The um, name of it is Dark Pictures Little Hope. But as usual, your most favourite horror game expert, here is Shadowhawk. Thank you, Wolfman. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to be playing Little Hope tonight, so... <laughs> I wanna say too much just now because I'm not sure if the games are about, but we'll get into it. As it's loading. Well, I did play the first day, uh, Man of Medum, which was quite scary, so this is the second part to it, and I'm hoping it's a lot scarier than the first scene. So here we go, wait. And away he goes on the bus. Far he's gone, I don't know. Oh, looks really eerie. Looks like an accident. Looks like he's about to get diverted. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We've got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. Oh dear. Okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble too much. A death. These road takes you straight through Little Hope. That's almost no time to your journey. Oh, I don't think the bus driver was too keen on that. So, off he goes. Looks off a looks off a foggy. Yeah, bus driver's uh, worrying about something. Oh, 
doesn't look that good. I wonder if there's any survivors. Oh look, it's snowing. Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. It's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now! <sighs> Not tonight. No way. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Right. Oh, we'll get a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> uh, it looks like he's on a drink again. I think his uh, wife got on him for dinner. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? I don't think they're awful happy in this household. Damn ice. No, oh, she's locked out. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets me. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> well, I like to buy the not who's past life. <laughs> it's crawled up his ass. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. Real jerk. So what else is new? Looks like he's tied in. Hey, Dennis. Hey. Not now, sis. I'm busy. Oh, 
Yeah, that's gonna be an accident. Yep. Hey, quit acting crazy. Oh, there's bottle locks. Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Oh, poor Megan. I don't think anybody wants to speak to her. Oh dear, she's got a key. not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Oh, Fitzas is found. Looks like a pack of matches. Oh well, I will put them. Yeah, put the kettle on. Goals. <gasps> Crap. Oops. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Right, let's go and check on Tanya while we leave Dad to sleep. Proceed. Tanya, you up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Well, go to bed. You've done it. Sleeping Beauty, wait. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. I was confused and quiet. Just because you've got a he dick. Yeah, because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Yeah, it sounds like a dad's a handful as well. Right. It will leave him alone. Moody. Alright, where have we got her here? Right. No, we're not getting out of there. We need a key. Right. Okay. Let's go through here. Right, we're in a dining room as it looks like. Not sure if it, we're supposed to be looking for it. But no sign of Megan in here anyway. Let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can find her up here. Oh, forgot to put on the kettle, did we? Well, we'll get our cup of tea later. Got to find little old Megan first. No, I'm not getting out of there. Right, so upstairs we go. Right.
Oh. Could be right about my family. Well, I think Megan either hears or sees. Uh oh, oh. Tanya, what's going on? That little rat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Oh dear. Not I'll let good. You back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh dear. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh god, that not me choose. Tanya, hold on. I gotta get Megan out. <laughs> Megan! And that's where the story ends with that part. But peeps, we're gonna leave it there. But uh, like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye for now.